everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Black Mass. So Black Mass is directed by Scott Cooper. It stars Johnny Depp, Joel Edgerton, Benedict Cumberbatch, Dakota Johnson, Kevin Bacon, Peter Skarsgård, Jesse Plemons, and I'm sure I'm missing some more because there's a big cast here. And this film tells the true story of James Whitey Bulger, who is this criminal from South Boston that becomes an FBI informant and shit goes down. So I was very excited for Black Mass because, you know, Johnny Depp, he looks like he's going back to a serious role. Lately, it's just been mostly these weird, eccentric characters. And I don't mind that, honestly. I like it when Johnny Depp could just have fun on screen, be a goofball. But with me, while I do agree he should do more of these, I think there should be a balance. You know, if he wants to do these more of these fun, eccentric characters, let him. But I think he should try balancing doing serious roles and these over-the-top roles. I wasn't too big of a fan of this movie. Black Mass wasn't really as good as it could have been. But the first thing, of course, I need to start this review off with is that Johnny Depp does give a very phenomenal performance. It's actually one of the best performances that this guy has given in his career. He was creepy, he was menacing. If you get on this guy's bad side, then it's like, phew, goodbye, because he doesn't take shit. If you're on his good side, then good, you're safe. Everyone else does a really good job as well. Joel Edgerton does a great job here. Kevin Bacon's really good. Benedict Cumberbatch is really good as a state senator, who happens to be the brother for James Whitey Bulger. Alexander Skarsgård was really good. Dakota Johnson, although a very small part for her, she does do a very good job. You all know if you see my review that Fifty Shades of Grey is one of the worst movies I've seen in 2015. However, one of the few redeeming qualities was Dakota Johnson. She shows that she has the acting chops. She does the same here, but hopefully there's a movie sometime in the future where she does have a bigger role so she can truly show the acting chops that she has for an actress, even though I already know she's a really good actress. Cinematography for the movie looks gorgeous. It fits the tone of the movie. It's a very well directed movie by Scott Cooper too. I thought he did a great job with the framing. He did a lot of wide shots, like you'll have Johnny Depp and his group just in the car and just the way he's following the car driving it's really impressive so in terms of direction black mass does impress with the direction and even if the writing may not be that engaging i'll even go on my way and say that black mass is indeed a well-written movie however my problems with black mass is that it feels like this movie skips through a lot of what Whitey Bulger is all about. It really skips through a lot of his history because there's a point where the movie literally skips six years. And trust me, I appreciate the effort this movie took because I did feel the passion and I did feel the amount of hard work it takes to make Black Mass. But I felt like it was a huge missed opportunity that they really didn't expand and explore on the whole history of Whitey Bulger as they could have. You do have characters that just come here and there. They just come and go and they feel like they aren't really important. Like you just see Dakota Johnson and you don't really see her ever again. They don't explain where she went. She just disappears out of nowhere. And the same goes for characters here and there. I feel like because there's so much, the movie just rushes certain moments and it just took me out of the movie and I couldn't feel invested in the movie. The same thing are with the characters. Johnny Depp is engaging and the best parts of this movie are definitely with Johnny Depp. But when you're with the side characters, despite that the performances are really good, the characters themselves are not that compelling. Same thing with the dialogue. The dialogue actually got me pretty bored when you're not on Johnny Depp and they're focusing on like the FBI and the whole investigation. It just wasn't as interesting as it could have been. And the ending to the movie honestly felt very abrupt to me. I just felt like 
the movie had a hard time trying to conclude itself and I felt like there wasn't enough information given to the characters like the ending because this is a biopic it does give you information on where life has headed to these characters and I felt like the ending gave me more information on all of these characters than the actual movie did and the same thing with James Whitey Bulger the movie doesn't really show his true color as a criminal until like by the second half yeah the first half you already get an idea but I feel like the second half is where they really show the criminal that he is some of the execution even feels a little bit disjointed in this movie too like the, that scene in the teaser trailer where you know he's just talking to the guys about you know the whole family secret at that dinner table that scene was honestly not as well executed as that teaser trailer was even when Johnny Depp as James Whitey Bulger was killing people I honestly didn't get that holy shit feeling out of it I did like how Whitey Bulger was developed and there are a few scenes where you do kind of feel heart for the guy you do feel bad for him because he may be a criminal but it's not like he doesn't have a heart there is some heart added to this character overall guys black mass is a well-made movie i appreciate the effort it took to make this movie but i felt like the movie rapidly rushes through a lot of the history on whitey bulger it really feels like a lot of information was missing that honestly just wasn't as good as it could have been i really have no desire to watch this movie again because it really was that disappointing to me. And it's just not that memorable of a movie, to be honest. So I'm going to give Black Mass two and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know, what did you think of Black Mass? This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.